What's up? Wayne Brown here with DarkEffects.net and today we're inside of Adobe Edge Animate and we're going to be creating this menu. As you can see whenever our cursor runs over the main menu it drops down our sub menus. You can stay in the sub menus as long as you want. They won't go nowhere. Once you mouse out they will fold back up. If you hold your mouse cursor on the top of the main menu for a long period of time, it will close itself out. Like so. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into it. So with our new composition here, let's go ahead and create some div menus. Let's give this a color of red. Let's make it a little bit shorter. Control C, Command C on the Mac. Control V, Command V on the Mac. And let's create four of them. The first one is going to be named main, second one M1, third one M2, actually the third submenu be M3, fourth submenu M4. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is that we need to bring each one of these guys down. So let's bring them down here, give it a color change, go to our M2 bring it down, color change it as well, M3, bring it down, color change, oh, let's give it a yellow, and then our M4, which is our last one, bring it down, and color change, everything should be good, okay, now let's select our four bottom submenus, and Create a keyframe, come out, and there we go. Okay, now let's move these over to about here. Let's go ahead and create a label, and this label is going to be called Slide Close. Go ahead and create an action, Stop, Slide Close. Next thing we want to do is come over to here, create a new label, call this one slide open. Let's come out to our two second mark, create a new label, call it slide stay. Come out to about two and three quarters, create a new label and call it slide gone. Okay, the first thing we want to do here is that we want to animate our menu with our main button. So let's go to mouse over, play from, slide open, mouse out, stop at, slide, slide, close. We run this, and there we go run our mouse cursor over it, it shows the menu, mouse cursor out, the menu disappears. Now, let's go and add in some animation to our menu. So now what we want to do is we want to find out where our y-axis is for our main button. And our y-axis is a 66. So what we want to do is that we want to relocate each one of these to line 66. So what we want to do here is we want to start with our very first one and we want to double click, drag it out to here and oops, yep, drag it out to there and what was our main again? It was 66 so with our M1 selected, well hold it, let's change this. We want to go out to here and then change it to 66. Okay, yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay, now for the next one, we want to double click it, come out to here, change it to 66. 
do the same thing with our next one. And this time we want to drag it out to here. Actually, let's bring it in about right there, getting a little bit too far away. Change it to 66. And then our next, our last one, click it, drag it out to here, and 66. So, whenever it runs, each one of them sort of fold out. That's what we want, we want it to fold out. And then we want to go to our first main button, right click on it, arrange, send forward, so it will be our first button. Well, let's go over here, drag up, and then drag each one of these. So they're all in order from main M1 to M4. And there we go. So now they will all unload like so. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, now we want to, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this first. See how everything's looking. Yes, very nice. Okay. So now what we want to do here is go over to our slide stay. And just like we did in our previous video, we want to select our top location, slide it, select our top location again. This way we can call this from our submenus for location that we want to be at. And then we're also going to call this for location to end out as well. So it's going to be our mouse over and our mouse out is going to be here. Just with a little bit of a twist up and we'll get to that in just a second. Now once we get over here to our slide out. Now, as you notice, whenever we run our project here, whenever we come out, it just drops. There's no animation whatsoever, it just drops. Well, what we want to do is that we want to add some animation to this. So let's go over here and choose our first one. And we want to go, let's see. Uh, what was it again? 66 okay let's go to our first one second one third and fourth let's drag it out to about right up in here and change each one of these to 66 okay now what we want to do here we can't have them all dragging up like so so we're just going to grab a hold of here, drag it out, drag it out, about right up in there, and then our last one, drag it out. So now they sort of fold in amongst themselves, but in a really cool animation like. And so now let's go back here to our main, and then we're going to do our mouse out and we're going to play our slide gone. And then whenever we run it, shows it, and we take it out. Pretty sweet, huh? So now what we gotta do is we gotta do our submenus. So let's click on our first submenu, and we wanna send everything to here so for our mouse over, right there, we want to do, let's drag this up. Our mouse over is going to be a stop at slide stay. And our next one, our mouse out is going to be the same place, but we're gonna play it. And then we'll do the same thing slide over and mouse out change it to play same thing with our M3 just do this all the way across the board 
change this one to play. And our very last one, mouse over. And then our mouse out, change this one to play. And now whenever we run it, it doesn't want to load. Okay, for some reason it just got stuck in a loop. So anyway, you run your cursor over it, and now you're able to move your cursor around here and stay in this area as long as you want. You move your cursor over, and if you leave it there, it will close up on its own. But whenever you run your cursor over it, you can stay in this area, then you drag it out, and then it folds up on its own. So, that is really sweet. Now let's add one more thing to it. Let's go to our ease in and ease out and change everything to quint. So ease in, ease out, quint on each and every one. This will give it a nice little effect as it's coming down. We're also going to do this on our slide gone as well. And now whenever we run it, thing stays. It sort of got a little bit better instead of it being so jumpy. Instead, it's more of a glide. All right, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net. I hope that y'all enjoyed these two uh, menu options uh, that I've provided here today. And hopefully somebody can use them in something. And if y'all want to learn how to do the mouse over to where you can actually change the color, even if there are images, you can change the images. Just check out our mouse over video as well. And y'all have a rocking rest of the week. Bye-bye.